Hello, cats and kitties. This is Jeff from TorWars.com, and I am here with the one and only Catherine Tabor. Catherine, how are you? I am doing great here at Comic-Con 2011. You having a good show? Yes, great show. Now, uh, we, uh, you are famous currently for playing Vet in, uh, in Star Wars The Old Republic. Yep. And it's my understanding you have some experience playing Twi'lek uh, female characters in the past. Could you tell us a little bit about that? Yep, my very first voice job ever was playing Mission Veo in Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. One of the best games ever, I might add. Um, and I, I still get people coming up to me all the time who are huge Mission fans. So it's very exciting to get to play another Twi'lek, although she's a very different character in this new and even more amazing Star Wars game. <laughs> Now, we just came from the panel in which you said that the script was uh, rather substantial. Uh, how many lines of dialogue do you have in, uh, in The Old Republic? I could not even begin to guess. I mean, I really couldn't. It's, a, it's almost like living a whole life. So <laughs> <laughs> and how, long, how, how much time have you spent doing voiceover work for the game now? Um, I've, been, I've been working on the game, personally, longer than even a lot of other actors, because I've worked on it since it was a demo. So, okay, several years. Okay. Yeah. Now, this is not, uh, by no means do those two games encompass your entire history of doing voiceovers for Star Wars. Could no. you tell us a little bit more? You're heavily involved in the Clone Wars as well. Yeah, being a Star Wars fan, first and foremost, it's been my honor and privilege to play a lot of different characters in Star Wars. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm Padme Amidala on the Clone Wars series. And now, that's a kind of a substantial role. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's, it was really exciting. She's just one of my favorite characters, mm -hmm. just all around. Mm -hmm. And I play her daughter, Leia, in The Force Unleashed and The Force Unleashed 2. Okay. And I mean, I, I often joke that if my whole career is just all Star Wars, I will be fine with that. But I, I do need to play Jaina Solo so I can have my own trilogy. Yeah. And <laughs> very, that's very that's good. what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for the live action Jaina Solo series. Well, you never know. That may be right <laughs> around the corner. It's really hard to tell. Now, how many Twi'leks have you played uh, during the course of your career? Because it's my understanding it's quite a number. Well, I do have, I would say, all told, I've probably played about six or seven Twi'leks, okay. but only three very substantial, which is, is now Vet, uh, who's the most mature of my Twi'leks. Really? Mission, who was a teenager, and then Numa, who was six years old mm -hmm. in season one of, of Clone Wars uh, on the planet of Ryloth, which is a really amazing... It's a really amazing episode, and the writing is great on that one. So that was a that was a huge one. Numa is still my mother's favorite character I've ever played, and she's constantly asking me to ask Dave Filoni when Numa is going to be in a new episode. So maybe we can have Numa show up in one of the uh, later packs for the Old Republic somehow. That would be great. <laughs> I, I'm just stunned by the fact that your mom is a Star Wars fan and oh, actually has a has yeah. an opinion on what character you should be playing. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, uh, I I was told by Stephen Reed to ask you what your favorite line of dialogue was in The Old Republic. Can you share that with us? I can if Steven said I can, so that was awesome. He seems to have blessed Let's it. See, I have to make sure. So, um, Vet does not like chlor slugs. Mm -hmm. And I had a line that was going to just be, uh, chlor slugs, Ugh, I hate chlor slugs. And as we were recording, I was like, hold that. And I said, chlor slugs, why did it have to be chlor slugs? Nice, very nice. My absolute favorite line, you, maybe not just of this game, but ever. <laughs> <laughs> good to know, good to know. Uh, Catherine, give us, um, uh, give us your last thoughts on being at the convention, on, uh, on voice acting for uh, The Old Republic. Uh, just give us a parting shot. Well, one of the cool things about being a part of The Old Republic is not just that I, I've got to act in it, but like the fans who are seeing the trailers, mm -hmm. everything new, like the new stuff we saw today, mm -hmm. The fact that you can even um, modify your companion character, what they're wearing, what they look like, mm -hmm. all of this is as exciting to me as it is to the fans, because I am a fan. So I get the, the double duty of being here as a part of it and then as a fan. And I got to tell you, I'm even more excited about the game now than I was before. A geek girl's <laughs> dream come true. Very, very Absolutely. nice. Absolutely. Thank you. All right, folks. Once again, this is Jeff Hollis for TorWars.com, and I am here with Catherine Tabor. Catherine, thank you very, very thank much. you, guys. Have fun.